From the sun coast of Florida, the Pittsburgh Pirates meet the Tampa Bay Rays. It is game two of the three-game series. Tries to bunt for a hit. He's going to get it done. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Boone Walcott with uh, Derek Shelton. Now he's giving it to the crew chief, Adrian Johnson, and, and he just got tossed, and he's going to get a... He's going to get... And it's interesting. Time was called as that pitch was being delivered. I don't think that counted, that pitch, because Shelton was halfway down the line as the pitch was being delivered. Shelton's getting his money for it out there, as he should right here. Yeah. And then Adrian Johnson, the crew chief, and now we're getting... I'm not sure why Adrian Johnson got involved. Is, is he the crew chief? Not you. Complicated, <laughs> complicated conversation yeah. going on now. He's got, he's got something for everybody. Well, last night it was Adrian Johnson and Derek Shelton, you know, with uh, the Hedges situation. Manny Gonzalez kind of giving Shelty the shoulder. Wow. Yeah, Manny Gonzalez, the crew chief, I believe. Wow. So let's start with last night for context. I just, just think he should have balked. Uh, yeah, a balk should have been called. He I never stopped. Uh, Hedges can't believe it. And Shelton asking, how do you not see that? He didn't stop. Welcome to another secret Bach video. Amazing how often Bach controversies lead to ejections. The real culprit is the pitch clock. The pitcher's trying to beat the clock, and in doing so, you're required by rule to stop in set position before firing to home plate. The question is, did he stop? In spring training, we saw pitchers trying to beat the clock who failed to stop and then got called for box. and the question is, is this a similar situation? Did the pitcher fail to stop? That's what the Pirates are arguing, and it continues to the next day. And Manny Gonzalez, the crew chief, I believe. And now Don Kelly getting it from the home plate umpire. No, I think Donnie Kelly's saying it should be 1-0. And then they're saying, no, Adrian Gonzalez called timeout, which he did. We saw Adrian G Gonzalez call timeout. Well, this has suddenly taken on a different tone. I'm watching you, Adrian Johnson. That's kind of unprofessional right there. Let's talk about it. Pirates thought the 32nd between batters clocked in start timely. This is actually a common feeling throughout the league. ESPN asked some players about the new rules. Tommy Pham, for instance, told a story about a bad clock situation. Others have said clock operators are inconsistent. So this is something we actually predicted with the automatic ball strike system, if that were to come into play, that the argument wouldn't be with the on-field ball strike calls, but about the operators not calibrating the system properly or whatever. And the umpires on the field end up taking more arguments because you're playing on the field, so you can't just go up in there and argue in the press box with someone. So that's what I see here. The umpires on the field are taking the argument for the clock ops plus the Bach incident from the previous game leading up to this, oh, this crew has no idea what they're doing mentality, and that's what leads to the ejection. As for calling time during play, yeah, not a great idea. Throw them out, but uh, keep play alive. What Adrian Johnson probably thought is the pitcher didn't yet go, but the pitcher kind of did. And also, the broadcast said that uh, there should be a ball. Well, that pitch was actually a strike, but that's another story for another day.